Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999, and I am on Fever. We are with Paradigm Shift, my guild, and we're heading into Fear. Now, I haven't been here since the early 2000s, like 2002, 2004, uh, which is whenever I left originally and went to EverQuest 2. So, we were here for some epics, and we just were here for loot as well. Now, one thing I didn't remember uh, was that how how low quality of equipment uh, Fear was versus Vilius. I mean, there's such a huge jump from Vilius, or to Vilius, from uh, planar armor, especially for casters. Now, I did end up going ahead and getting the bracer that drops here for casters, and it was not an upgrade so much, but it was a, uh, it allowed me to put mana in my wrist slot while I could go ahead and sell a, um, an intelligence item, and I need the money, so I, I figured that would be the best way to go, is just to go ahead and sell the item that I had on and this would put me to the point where I am wearing no drop equipment now. Now that said, hopefully we'll be doing TOV soon and I'll be able to get the bracer there. But until then I have this not so great bracer that dropped here and I'm not complaining about it because again, it was a really nice item and uh yeah so we were here for probably a good three four hours about two hours in once we had cleared the zone um they said that the the broken golem was up and that if any wizards needed it for their epic then uh then we could do that as i was the only wizard here so i was frantically trying to find a friend of mine who had uh, the necklace that could bypass the faction for the quest, went and got the sprocket, came back, and we ended up killing the golem. And that will be at the very end of the video. But we ended up um, killing the golem. I gated back to the guy that you hand the stuff into. And I did not use the faction um, click on the necklace. Before I tried to turn it in. And I ended up losing the staff. <laughs> so um, I petitioned in game. And I also petitioned on the server. For some reason. Um, and I, I don't know if I did it wrong. Or if I'm not remembering correctly. But the username and password for, for the game. Is that not the same as what's on uh, the Project 1999 forums? Because for some reason I cannot get access to the forum uh, username and password that I use for in-game. But either way, I did notate that it was Fever. Uh, notated the time that it happened. Notated the guild that I was with. Uh, notated the mob, notated that I had the sprocket, that I turned it in, got the item, went over back to the guy, what time I turned it in to him, and so I was pretty thorough as far as to, um, to when it wouldn't all happen. Hopefully they, they found my post and, uh, will get it resolved um, because that would be fantastic if I could get that staff. That's a really really nice staff. It's a massive upgrade from the staff of the wheel, which I've been carrying since level nine. So that all said, we did have a fantastic night, got a lot done. Um, they were here much longer than I could stay awake. Um, I have an hour drive home whenever I'm recording. So it, from, to, for me to get home in that hour, it probably takes me about an hour and a half because what, by the time I'm leaving, I'm really tired and I need to stop a few times. You don't want to hear about that. So, so anyway, we were here for, like I said, several hours. We got to kill some really cool mobs. Let me tell you, out of all the mobs that we did kill, the Enraged Golem had 
the most hit points and uh, it was really nice seeing how well our guild works together because the orange golem uh, was very highly resistant but the melee uh, work that we did having our tank move the mob around in a circle while everyone else we had it looked like we had like 30 or 40 uh, melee right behind the mob and it, it died in a good amount of time i mean for its hit points i think it has what 30 or 60 thousand hit points something like that so it, it while it did take a little bit of time because we couldn't cast on it or couldn't get our spells to land um the melee definitely did their job and <laughs> took them down pretty fast one thing i have to say is that I really miss the zone. It was it was really easy to get broke into uh, versus back whenever I did it the, for the first time on live because back then this was the armor upgrade that you were going for. This was where you were coming for uh, for your your no drop equipment because before before um, before Kunark there was nothing else. And then whenever Kunar came out, then you had those raids. Those raids yielded you better equipment. But until those raids came out, this was the better equipment to have. And for you not to have that equipment, you, that meant you were coming in with whatever you could afford. And now <laughs> you, you have to think about that and think about how hard this zone was at that point what we were doing here we were doing fear the way it's supposed to be done but whenever you're talking about uh tanks that have probably um a, i'd say 500 to um a thousand hit point difference uh also talking about uh weapons that don't have the the amount of damage and delay don't have the procs that they do because most everyone is now to the villious portion of their of their character i mean even myself i'm getting to that point i have um multiple parts for uh sky shrine i have a benevolent robe that i'm i need to turn in so i mean <laughs> there's a lot of things that we are getting to now where Vilius equipment is trumping this and it it's kind of sad because we're seeing that a lot of the items we couldn't we, we I mean a lot of items rotted because people didn't need them anymore they have the Vilius equi uh, equivalent to uh, to this armor but that said everything is uh, it, I did end up getting pieces from here that I just replaced other pieces with and um, I think other people did as well. Some people were just getting items that they, they didn't um, have uh, resist in the slot or, or for whatever reason. That was one of the main problems was that most of the gear here did not have stats for your class. <laughs> I think the only reason I took the bracer that I did was because it had mana on it. And for me, intelligence isn't as important as important as mana is, because my intelligence will get maxed out pretty soon. Uh, if I would have got that staff, that would have maxed out my my stats with the equipment that I'm wearing currently. So, uh, or at least maxed out my my um, my intelligence, not my stats, because you can have mana over intelligence, and um, and still be able to. Uh, do that anyway that's pretty much it this is where we're killing the the golem uh the enraged golem and hopefully uh you enjoy it it was a pretty decently long fight and was um was really fun to take part in i mean this is part of my epic this is where we're at now and soon soon i will actually have my epic in hand um, because all I need is those two other stats and VS while he is, um, con a contested mob, he is still accessible to us. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this is Cypher deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.